This is Easton Jackson and I'm recording a very specific video on eClinical Works. Currently we have an issue or a glitch in the software which eClinical Works has identified. This is a problem where sometimes the surgical history that a provider has previously entered on a previous note will either get erased or will not show up or can't be imported into the current patient note. eClinical Works says they are aware of this problem and it is supposed to be fixed in the next service pack which is SP1C20. Currently, however, our providers still need a way to quickly bring the surgical history back into the note rather than manually re-entering it. So I'm going to show a way that this can be done. In this current example, I've replicated some of the error in that this patient's surgical history is blank, even though when we look in the right chart panel, I can see the surgical history here. In this case, there are only a couple, and I could just manually type them back in, but if the patient has an extensive list, this could be tedious and a waste of time. So instead, we're going to go to an old progress note for this patient and pull this part in. To do this, I'm going to click on Templates. And now, rather than using the generic templates that are available for everyone, I'm going to pick Patient Specific. What this does is pulls up a list of the previous notes for this specific patient. And I'm going to go back and use one that had the correct surgical history. I'm going to use the one called Allergies. If I wasn't sure if that had the information I wanted, I can click the magnifying glass, and here you see the surgical history is available, and that's what I want to pull back in. So I've highlighted this old progress note, which I'm going to use as a template. Now, I don't want to pull in any of that note except the surgical history, which means I need to deselect all the other options down the side here. The quickest way to do this is to click the All Options box and click it again. This will clear everything. And now I only want to migrate in the surgical history. So I'm going to select that and merge the template. You can see that it was merged successfully. And when I close and go back to the progress note, I can see that my surgical history is now reconstituted. Uh, unless your surgical history is really short, this is a faster way that you can quickly get it put back in. And if you think about this process, you could actually use this same technique of using a patient-specific template from an old office visit to pull in a large variety of data. You'd want to be cautious about doing it, particularly not pulling in vital signs or orders or assessments, which may not necessarily apply. But this is a quick way to bring the surgical history back in without manually retyping it. Um, I'm also hopeful that we won't have to do this once eClinical Works uh, fixes this in the next service pack, but this is a process which can quickly correct the problem immediately.